This is the new FeelWorld F5 Pro V4 HD 6 inch touchscreen monitor. That's a lot. It has most of the features you would come to expect with a field monitor and one incredibly useful little mounting bracket on the back that allows you to power accessories. We're gonna go over those features and at the end of the video, we're gonna do a new segment called What If, where we give a little constructive criticism about a few things we don't like about this product, as well as future products. This monitor is a six inch HD touchscreen monitor that is capable of receiving a 4K signal, but it displays in 1080 HD. It has a very lightweight plastic build, which is nice in the field, but obviously has its disadvantages. It has a 450 nit brightness, which is plenty for any indoor shooting, nighttime concerts and things like that. However, if you are shooting in direct sunlight, you're gonna run into some issues. It does have an included lens hood, which helps, but isn't a perfect solution. With it not being incredibly bright, you do conserve on battery power. And speaking of battery, this is one of the features that's really cool about this setup. This monitor actually has what I would call a reverse NPF mount, something we designed a long time ago, but it's powered. So you're able to put an accessory on here. They actually sent this light, which is not included and it powers off of the back of the monitor itself and hooks into the NPF mount. Where this really comes in handy is if you wanna use a transmitter set, but don't wanna have more accessories mounted all over the camera. It makes it a pretty compact system. The other advantage to this is if you're gonna use it as a client monitor, it's a lot less to carry around. It's really simple and honestly, you can just kinda of use the battery as a handle. This is something you can give to a client and you don't have to rig out some complex system. It's three parts, monitor, receiver, and battery. As far as ports, it has your HDMI in, your HDMI loop out, it has a DC out 8.4 volt. It has a five volt USB-C input, which allows you to power off of a power bank or other USB-C accessory. And it does have a headphone monitoring jack. Now the NPF power mount only works with an NPF battery plugged into the other port. So if you plug a USB-C in one side, you're not getting power out of this. So if you're gonna use an accessory here, you do need to have a battery on it. It has four quarter 20 mounting points, one on the top, the side, the back, which is pretty cool, and on the bottom. It also includes this L mount that allows you to attach directly to a cold shoe, which works pretty well. It does have a few drawbacks, but overall it is nice that they include this, especially if you're gonna use a ball head mount, because with a ball head mount, you do run into a few issues, which we will talk about here in a minute. One of my favorite thing about most new monitors is the fact that they have touch screens now. Honestly, being able to swipe up or down for volume and swipe up or down for backlight is great, but then having all the features on the side, such as LUTs, false color, peaking, framing, you can even do anamorphic de-squeezing on this. All those features are really nice to have just on the touch screen. This does also have a shortcut at the bottom to speed things up to get to the main features you need right away. You can upload your own LUTs using the USB-C port. So if you have a Canon or a Sony and you just wanna have a different LUT on there than the few that are included, you can put your own on here. After a few months of using this in the field, we're a little late on this video, it has become our go-to monitor. However, there are some improvements that got us to thinking, what if it could be better? We asked the question, what if? What if all monitors were bright? 450 nits works in our sunless state, but what if I wanted to travel? What if all quarter 20 holes were deep enough for the cheap Amazon accessories that we all buy? Is it so hard to give us deeper holes? What if your accessories work better than Amazon accessories? The L mount is great, but I shouldn't need duels with me to tighten it. What if? You could actually see what the buttons do while you use the monitor. Screen side labels would be nice. And finally, what if you use more screws to make things more durable? Adjusting the monitor shouldn't result in avoided warranty. Is it really too much to ask? What if? So we noticed when we used a ball mount or any other type of quarter 20 mount on the bottom of the monitor, and if I tried to pull on it and manually adjust it without loosening that ball mount, which is always a bad idea, it can actually flex the bottom of this screen a little. Part of the issue with that, if it flexes this housing, it can tear the warranty sticker. So I did reach out to Fuel World to see if they will honor the warranty if this sticker has been torn. I will definitely be leaving a pinned comment on this video with their answer. I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but again, I would check on that. 
Let's face it, every product has a few problems and we know not all manufacturers like to hear about the negatives. But Fuel World seems to be a pretty constructive company, so I think they'll take this feedback to heart. We'd also like to hear about any grievances you might have with your current monitor or this one in the comments below, and hopefully they'll read those comments and make improvements accordingly. So that brings us to our next question. Should you buy it? Right now, I think it is the best budget monitor on the market. For under $200, there's really not anything you can get better than this. With its few shortcomings aside, it's a great monitor and pretty cheap. It's also a monitor we use on the regular. So I will leave links below where you can pick this thing up for only about $170 and maybe less with Black Friday right around the corner. And should you decide that you want a wireless transmission system, you should check out this video where we review the Mars 4K system and overall, it's pretty solid. Well, if this video is helpful, we ask that you like and subscribe. And thanks again, and we'll see you in the next video.